Hey guys, what's up? Melvin here. Um, a few months ago, I read Soul Eater Volume 1. I, um, I wanted to try something new, so I wrote a review about it. So, I'm gonna write a, I'm gonna do the review right now. Please tell me if you like this new style of reviewing. I think it's a little bit more professional, instead of, uh, me just on camera going, uh, uh, what I like about this, uh, let me think about this for a second, you know. So, uh, here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Melvin here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Soul Eater Volume 1. The book includes three prologues in the first chapter. The main characters are Soul, Maka, Blackstar, Tsubaki, Death the Kid, and the Thompson Sisters. Soul and Maka's story involves them trying to gain their final soul and become Death's weapon. They find a girl named Blair who appear appears to be a witch. They try to kill her multiple times and when they finally do, the problem starts. Maka's father is intru introduced as a drunk pervert who's obsessed with his daughter. Throughout the story, it seems like they are trying to play Maka as a character who is not pretty. She seems to get jealous when Blair is around Soul Eater. The next um, prologue <coughs> Excuse me. The next prologue involves my favorite character, Blackstar, who is probably the worst assassin ever. He yells out when he's about to attack. He also uses the rule of the assassin. His weapon, Tsubaki, is a shadow weapon that, and can take many forms. They try to take out a swordsman protecting a witch. The swordsman is very powerful and will give them multiple souls if killed. Blackstar is a character who is stupid and doesn't get the point most of the time. I don't see how Tsubaki works with him, but she just goes along goes along with things and says yes sir to his orders. Tsubaki works with him, but she just goes along. Oh my god, I just read that over. Blackstar is quite dangerous. If you just if you injure him greatly, he will get serious and almost change into a different person. The last prologue is Death the Kid. I hear this character is quite popular. He has a very nice design, but has this weird thing where he wants everything to be symmetrical. That's why he has two guns. Him and his crew go to this pyramid to find a witch. She has been absorbed into the pharaoh. Blackstar actually leaves to check a painting that seems like it was in his house at one time. His weapons are attacked. They use a strategy where one sister attacks in their human form while the other is in gun form. They switch back and forth. This story was cool. Chapter 1 has Maka and Sol back in class, but Sol brings up their teacher. Some things lead to another and they're fighting a zombie version of their teacher. He's a black man with dreads. Do mangakas, be, um, do mangakas think all blacks have dreads? I mean, look at Naruto. Killer B and his brother have dreadlocks. They learn who, they learn who's behind the strings and the manga ends. The basic idea of the manga is that there are these weapon users who want their weapons to become death, death's weapons. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. This is my first review, um, written, so I'm kind of messing up. They try to become Death's weapon, who is currently Maka's father. They had to collect 99 souls and one witch soul. This world has been cre the world that has been created is really unique. I like the creator's crazy drawings and ideas. The back of the book has random drawings. Warning, this manga has inappropriate scenes that are censored. Read at your own risk. The mangaka's short drawings at the end are really stupid but funny. I like it. Go buy it. Thanks for watching. Um, there was one thing that's not written down that I have to say. I really just like the design of the moon and the sun that the um, mangaka put into the uh, manga. And... Um, this is a manga that has inappropriate scenes in there, and they're just like in, in between chapters, and it's like they're there for no reason, because it's a good manga, and it really doesn't need that. So, um, here's some extra stuff I added uh, later. It seems like the weapons have human and weapon forms. I think they can fight midway because of uh, what happened with Tsubaki in the first volume. Have you read Solita before? What do you think? This is a new type of reviewing, so tell me what you think. It seems like Black and Soul would be a better team. They're kind of, they're both kind of wild. Maka and Tsubaki would be a good team. Maka has orders, but Soul doesn't follow. Tsubaki does. The, the spine of the book is really nice. Um, I like the
like a little Soul Eater uh, kind of icon. I guess that's supposed to look like Soul. And it also has uh, Maka on there. So, um, thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter at Melvin2898. Share this video with your friends. Check out some of my favorite channels on my channel located in the on the channel page in the comments section with an extended list. See ya.